Hello guys, welcome back to another movie review and this is probably the biggest movie of the year so far. The Fablemans 2023 um, is kicking off with a bang. Now this movie did come out in Thanksgiving time, so November time in the US. Unfortunately, we have only had it in the UK since January the 27th, 28th, something like that came out last week of January basically. But holy moly, what a good start. Obviously this is going to be like my favourite movie of the month of January because the month of January has been pretty lackluster with films, let's just say. But we will just get right into it. Like the Fable Months for me was really, really good, really wholesome movie. It was it was special. And I, and it gave me the same feeling that I had watching Belfast. Now Belfast is my movie of the year last year, if you didn't know. Loved it, loved watching it, and it was very much the same type of thing in terms of Kenneth Branagh as a director, and he made a movie about his childhood, and now in this one is Steven Spielberg making a movie about his childhood. It's exactly the same thing, but it's just a love letter to their life and like their love of film and, and all that. But I think The Fablemans does it in a different way. I think the Belfast focused too much on like the you know, the upbringing and, and like what was going on in Ireland at the time and in Belfast and all that and the Northern Ireland struggles and everything. Whereas The Fablemans is just all about movies. Steven Spielberg's absolute love of film, everything, everything there. And it's just that's the main focus of the film. And that's what I loved about this. Um, there is some things I didn't like about it. The most notable one was the score. Now, John Williams is was on the score for this movie and I just didn't feel like there was much of a John Williams score. There was nothing really in the movie, I can't really remember what the score was and if there even was a score in some parts. Um, now that could be seen in two ways, it could be seen as like, you know, obviously something like Star Wars, like the, the score acts as another character in a way, whereas the score sometimes you want it to not act as another character and kind of blend into the scene more. So I think this is where like a second watch would be worthy um, to figure that type of thing out because the score for me wasn't memorable, I actually got out there thinking like, is there was there a score in the movie? Like, and if there was, like how did that score sound? I can't really remember, there was nothing really in the film, like I said, that, that just shone that score in a particular way that I like to see like I like a score to act like another character in a way and, and it just felt like it didn't and I, I think with the big you know it was going to be John Williams and all that I really thought maybe we would get something a bit better than it felt like we got anyway so maybe like I said maybe if I watch it on a second time we may pick that up then but Steven Spielberg obviously has a massive love for movies and this is one of the most personal movies to him the actual film opened with a message from Steven Spielberg saying I'm happy that you came to the cinema to watch this and all that and it was really nice to have that little personal thing at the beginning I do wish that they actually called the movie like you know instead of the Fablemans because the Fablemans was like the family but I wish they called it like Steven Spielberg like I'm not sure like where Fablemans comes from like is that his original name growing up I couldn't tell you I haven't looked into that type of thing but you know he was called Sammy in the movie and you know it would have been if it was Steven Spielberg just call it Steven Spielberg we've had Alfred Hitchcock movie we've had you know biopic movies of real life people like but I guess maybe when you're yourself you kind of want to not want to call the character yourself maybe I'm not sure the reason behind that but you know, kind of would have been would have been good. There was definitely moments in the movie that you could see that obviously have ingrained with him. There was one like really particular chat that he had with his uh, his his nan's um, brother, which you know made him become who he is. And there's another story. There was another like side story, I guess, with like his mum, who was played by Michelle Williams, who by the way was phenomenal in this movie. I thought she was very 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 good. I think all the people in the movie were great, especially the child actor who played Sammy. I thought he was really good as well. But we had Michelle Williams. We had Paul. Day you know, we had Seth Rogen in this movie as well, which I thought was hilarious. I didn't even realize he was in this film. Um, yeah, so some good cast members in there as well, but it wasn't, it didn't feel like it was too star studded, you know what I mean, for like a Steven Spielberg movie. But it was definitely really, really good. There was some scenes, especially like when he was getting bullied in school. It just felt like West Side Story, which obviously he directed West Side Story, uh, which came out at the end of last year. And there was definitely some scenes that just looked like frame by frame, look more or less identical in terms of like the school scenes and like the kids fighting uh, and all that type of stuff and I just really enjoyed it I just thought it was good I gave it a four and a half star it was just a little bit short of a five for me in terms of perfection um it didn't make me want to sit there for the entire like length of the movie I needed to go to the toilet I had to leave at one point so that's always a red flag for me in terms of not being five star but the big one for me really was that score and I really went into it wanting a bit more from it but you definitely can tell Steven Spielberg has like a massive love for film and this film is a great film and it is up there with one of the best Steven Spielberg movies in my opinion but it's probably not the best Steven Spielberg movie there's definitely better ones out there but it's definitely one that is a nice film it's going to do well in the Oscars for sure 
um, I understand why it's going to do well. I think Michelle Williams should win the award. I think she was brilliant in the movie. I think it really showed her style and her skill. And yeah, really, really good film, The Fablemans. Let me know your thoughts down below. Obviously, it's just come out in the UK, so if there's any American viewers, yeah, it's not, I'm not just delayed. It's just one of those things. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. And of course, please do subscribe if you like what you see. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.